What's up my DoorDash gang? What's up my Grubhub gang? This is your boy Kingfish aka Big Al coming at you with another video. What it do? What it do family? Merry Christmas to everybody. I ain't gonna say Happy New Year because then ain't no New Year yet. Alright, I got a light on. Okay. Why they just put me on pause guys? I, got, I just cut the damn thing on. They put me on pause. <laughs> ain't that about nothing? Alright. Yeah, I just cut the app on, guys, for a while. I'm going out and get coffee, guys. Boy, Dunkin' Donut is open. I'm happy to, <laughs> boy, I'm happy as hell, boy. I'm like these ducks out here. Wifey gave the ducks an extra treat today, man. This car been sitting in the middle of this road all day long. The hell you sitting in the middle of the road for? I guess it's a lift. Must be waiting on somebody. Yeah, man. I got up. First thing I did was ask Celeste, which Dunkin' Donut was open in Tampa. She gave me three of them. I was happy as hell, boy. I was about to make some coffee. I was like, let me check and see if Dunkin' Donut's open. Had a great night last night, guys. Thanks for asking. <laughs> got off at, uh, I think we got off at, we got done at 10, 10.30. I got out about 11, so I got home about 11.30. Wife was happy. That's for sure. But today, guys, is Christmas and uh, Thankful Tuesday. See, Scott, I didn't forget about you, Scott. All right, guys, the reason why I didn't mention Scott Brilla name yesterday, because Scott is like a big 58 year old kid. So, Merry Christmas, Scott Brilla, on your day. Thankful Tuesday. That's why I did not mention you yesterday, guys. So I want to thank everybody for um, watching the videos that I, I put out. We're going to go into a new year. Guys, this year we're going to do, we're going to keep doing what we do, guys. We're going to keep dashing. Like I said, man, um, it's tax season coming. I hope y'all were smart enough to put some money away, 14%. If not, guys, find out what's the, um, what I did was I took, um, I, I see what my salary is and I divided my, um, you know, I figure out how much taxes I pay from my uh, federal taxes, and that's what I take out for my um, for my um, DoorDash. I take out 14%. Some states might be higher, some states might be less. But um, once you figure out what you're taking out on your job, that's how much you take out on your taxes for your um, DoorDash. Now, I got to tell you guys. If you dash a whole year and you're taking out 14%, that money do look good. I dipped in it every now and then, but it's best to put that money in the savings. So I put 14% every day. If I made $30, I take 14% of $30, which is not that much, $7 or whatever it is. And um, I put that I put that in the savings. I try not to miss any... Um, Taxes, guys. Cause I don't want to be on. I already old. So <laughs> let's see. Let's see. So, um, thirty percent of um, if I made thirty dollars, right? I have to put four dollars and twenty cent away for taxes. That's not bad, guys. That's not bad at all. This will be the first year that I get my taxes done with DoorDash. Uh, I had it done with Uber Eats before. I did the same thing. That's what you got to do, guys. I'm going to treat myself. My wife, she wants some coffee. Guys, I got my wife real good, guys. I got it real good. So my wife wanted these, uh, she wanted these uh, uh, Pumas. I don't know what the hell they're called, but they got a lot of colors in it. They got a lot of colors in it. So yesterday, she don't know I got the other sneakers either. But this is the one that she really, really wants. So none of the sneakers was on her top list that I got. The six pairs that I got, they wasn't on her top list. But she wanted them. But she wanted some more than she wanted that. So she always been crying about the um, hot top. So I didn't. I got the hot top. She know what she got. 
I let her pick out the hot tops. And she wanted these Pumas real bad. We was in the store. She was like, uh-huh. I said, you only get one pair, woman. You know, I had to put that voice on her. I had to look in the eyes and let her know that I mean business. See, when I look my wife in the eyes and, and I, I give her that voice, she know I mean business. So I looked in the eyes. I said, look, you only get one pair. Pick out the ones you want and let's get up out this mall. That's how you got to do it, man. I'm trying to teach y'all how to be men. Right? She's like, okay, baby, okay. I see that you're serious. So she picked out a pet. So what she did was, what I did was, I went back, right? You see the Puma box? I went back and got the sneakers that she really, really wanted. But the sneakers that she wanted, I know I'm going all the way around the barn just to say this. I switched box. So in the Puma box, I have, these are the, I don't know if you can see. These are the Nikes that she wanted. I don't know yet. And she, she called them, you know, these are her baby. And she like them because I, I, they all right. But they got female. If you take the stick off, they got female on the front. Ain't that about nothing? Now, when we put male on our shoes or they put male on our shoes, they say, oh, yeah, you know, the women really come out. My daughter, she, she's, She's one of them activists and whatnot. So she think when she open up the box, she thinks she's gonna see these, but she's not. I switched boxes on. When she opened up the box, she's gonna see the shoes that she really, 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 really wanted. So that's how I'm doing Christmas, guys. You know, I do my I, I get my wife like that all the time. I, I switch her boxes. She never get she never get the shoe that she really want in the right box. And she wanted some of them um, Annie, 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 some of the bull crap. Sound like a piece of place. Um, she wanted their bracelets. So I found a good deal at, um, at uh, what is it called? Macy. No, no, Dillers. Dillers sell them Annie, Annie bracelets, whatever the hell they call them. I got her the rose gold. She's a rose gold woman, you know what I mean? But, um, she didn't get everything she wanted, but she got a lot that she wanted. So guys, I had to go back to the mall. I had to, you know, when I seen all the stuff she gave me, I was like, holy, holy hell. She only got six boxes. I got to get on my grind. <coughs> Excuse me. I know some of them boxes come from the kids, but you know. I don't try to outdo my wife, because she, she shops smart. My wife looking for a bargain. I just go get what I got to get, spend the money. She be like, oh, my God, I had five coupons for that. Why did you get that? You know, I guarantee you guys, on all the sneakers that I bought my wife, she has a coupon. She either have 10% off, 15% off, 20% off. So this, the Pumas that I had got her yesterday, she had 15% off. I, I stole that out of her purse. See? I went in her purse and I found it because she showed me. She was like, see, I had 15% off on those Pumas. I was telling myself, okay, I'm going back to get those anyway. So I waited, you know. And my wife, she got them she got them doll with ears. I was zipping. She was like, you in my purse? I was like, no, I ain't in your purse, woman. She said, I heard a zipper. I'm like, damn, she all the way in the living room. I'm all the way in the bedroom where the purse at. She's all the way in the living room. TV's on, so I turn the TV up. She's like, why you turn the TV up? You must be in my purse. <laughs> I tell you, man. It's bad to have a woman. God, I'm going to tell you. It's bad to have a woman with a super bionic nose that can smell. You know, she can smell if you've been with somebody and she, you know, or you, you use a you know, condom or, or you use a, what she, how she used to get me? Oh, perfume. Like, you hug somebody. She be like, who you hugged today? I'm like, why you say that? You got Donna carry perfume on. Who, who the hell is that? Or you got Giorgio or Jordash. So back in the day, guy, I wouldn't mess with nobody had perfume on. I like, you got perfume on? Nah, we can't do that. My wife will smell you. <laughs> this way, 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 way. I'm talking about way, 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 way back in the day. Not now. Oh, hell no. But man, when you got a woman that got her eyes ain't that good, so I might could say, hey, baby, that wasn't me. But guy. <laughs> When you got a woman with a super bionic nose, sonic ears, and a memory like an elephant, it is hard as hell to use any kind of dog nose, guys. 
I'm straight as a puppy that's uh, just can't, you know, just trying to go get some water or something like that. I know that don't make sense, but hell, I'm just rambling. But anyway, guys, uh, when you got a woman that got a brain like an uh, elephant, a memory like an elephant, can smell a mile away, two miles away, and can hear around a corner through t television, radios, and all that stuff, guys, psh, hang it up. Give it up. I'm like an old boxer, guys. I done hung up my gloves a long time ago. But anyway, guys, I'm going to get my coffee. Shoot. I'm happy as hell, boy. I got Dunkin' Donut on Christmas, guys. How good is that? Even though I, I bought two cups yesterday and I put them in the refrigerator. But I'm just, they're, they're going to be my cold shoulder. So everybody out there, I'll be right back. I ain't finished done talking. Scott Biller, I'm not done with you yet. I'll be back, guys. Hope I get an order. If I don't get an order, I don't get an order. I don't give a damn. On Thankful Tuesday. Scott Bullock, Thankful Tuesday. I got something special for you, Scott. Be back. I'm back, family. I had to thank all the workers for being there today. I had to thank the owner, right? I told the owner, I said, I said hey, man, because I come here a lot to get DoorDash. He said, hey, Ellen, how you doing? Uh-oh. So I got, oh, that's Big Rick. <laughs> hey guy, I gotta tell you something. I'm gonna get to you in a minute, Scott Brill. So yesterday Rick asked me was I dashing? I told him no, nah, I was at the mall. Why Big Rick guys? I'm snitching on you, Big Rick. I gotta tell the family. Why Big Rick put up that P whipped? <laughs> it's not called pussy whip, man. I'm not pussy whip. I'm a compromised husband. I compromise with Rick. <laughs> I thought that was funny, man. I ain't heard that in a long time. Big Rick said I was pee whipped. <laughs> oh my God, boy. Big Rick be tripping me out, boy. I ain't lying, boy. He made my day when he said that. I told the wife, she was like, Well, you is. I was like, No, I'm not. She's like, Yes, you is. It's okay to say it. I was like, oh, Lord, I had to start a debate. I was like, I'm, I compromised with you. That's not being whipped. <laughs> That's part of marriage, guy. <laughs> That's why she walked out the store with one pair of tennis shoes. Like, yeah, I got another pair, but I'm just saying, guys. You know, she 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 don't ask for much. You know, but anyway. I was talking to the owner. I was thanking him for being open today. He said, oh, okay. You know, Christmas, New Year's, you know, we don't celebrate Christmas. I said, okay, I understand, you know. So I appreciate that. He said, I got 10 7-Elevens that's open today. I'm like, I don't give a damn about 7-Eleven, not today. I said, all I care about is Dunkin' Donut. I was like, you open New Year's? He said, he don't celebrate that, so he opened up, you know. That's what I'm talking about, you know. I like a, I like a Dunkin' Donut owner that, you know, he don't celebrate Christmas, so why not go make money? And it's packed up there, guys. It's packed up there, that Dunkin' Donut. You know what I mean? But Scott Brillo, my man, I ain't forget about you. I just want to say thank you, man, to my 58-year-old 50 white chocolate. I'm putting your age out there because you keep telling me you're 58 years old. Uh, I'm going to kick you and Rob Stewart in the butt when I catch it because you won't let me live that down. God, this guy, ever since I said Rob Stewart was dead, every chance he get on a video, he let me know he's still alive. <laughs> so, Scott Brillo, man, you brought a lot of joy to the channel, man. The family love you. Um, it's, it's, it's just so much I could be thankful for, man, you know, because you, you are truly, truly a YouTube family member and, and, and you've been with me you stay with me you, you had fun with me with lee i appreciate that a lot of people you know could have went the other way but some of them did which is cool you know they'll be back hopefully they'll be back you know ain't nobody keeping it real every day like me <laughs> but anyway scott bill i just want to say thank you for thank for tuesday man it meant a lot to me uh when you told me about it at first i thought about it I was like that that's good that sounds good thank for tuesday because i'm always thankful you know, I believe in the higher power. So Scott Brillo, man, to my uh, YouTube brother, YouTube older uncle, my YouTube coach, because we're going to kick with the car and tail. I just want to say, man, thank you for being on the, on my channel. You know what I mean? You could be on anybody else's channel. I don't give a damn. 
but you on my channel. So I just want to say thank you, Scott Pillow, for giving me thank for Tuesday, giving the family thank for Tuesday. It's two days that everybody really participate in, and that's Throwback Wednesday and Thankful Tuesday. You know, they like the hell no Thursday, but y'all scared to give you a good shot. They don't like that. They like that. I, I don't give a damn Saturday, but they don't get nobody. They don't say I don't give a damn. I got Scott Brilla getting his mother. So Scott Brilla, man, you are one of my favorite all-time family member on the channel, man. So I appreciate you. I know. I, I knew. I told the wife. I said Scott gonna say something because I ain't mentioned his name, but I didn't mention your name on purpose, man. Because Christmas fell on a Tuesday, and I said I gotta get Scott Brilla his special day, man. So the day Scott Brilla. Merry Christmas, my brother. On your happy, I mean, your thankful Tuesday, man. I just wanted to say that to you, man. Heartfelt. I love you, bro. I'm glad you're on my channel, man. We're going to do some big things next year. And, guys, I need y'all to participate a little bit more. You feel me? You feel me? You know what I mean? So. It's going to be a fight out there today, guys. I got a surprise for you. The first one to comment on the video getting a surprise. Now I got to watch the phone to see who's the first one to um, comment. All right, family, I got to go. I got to let the wife open up her present. She's going to be surprised. I'll let y'all know how it went. All right, guys, this is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Al. I'm out, guys. If you're dashing, keep dashing. If you're grubbing, keep grubbing. If you're not dashing, you're not grubbing, you better get yourself some damn dashing grub, man. All right, guys, Merry Christmas, family. I love you guys. I hope y'all continue to make money. I got the app on. If I get an order, I'm only dashing to 11. If I get an order, it's all good. If I don't, it's all good, guys. It's all about family today, guys. Money over family. I mean, family over money. I'm sorry. Family over money. Reverse that. That's the remix. <laughs> family always going to become before money, guys. I love you guys, man. Y'all have a blessed day. Go get something to eat, man, because I'm going to find me some free food. I'm going over to the daughters for free food. Probably pay for it, but, you know, it's going to be free. All right, guys. Love you guys. Peace.